Take us back to your time as a student. Well, back when the campus was just trees and dirt, and we had to do our homework in the dirt with branches from the trees. <laughs> How do I get the gig? Oh, I, I, so there was some plotting. There was some plotting involved. I, I knew that it was not being utilized. And I, okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the real story. So I used to have a job delivering photocopy paper to every single copier on this campus. That was my job. One of my stops was the special events person for the campus. She knew I was a musician. She knew me from elsewhere. And she said, Scott, you know, we're having this big ceremony at the library. Uh, it's being renamed the University Library. And she said, we want music. What should we do? I said, let's make the library bells ring. So I borrowed a key to the roof using her name. And I kept the key. I still have it. So do we want to take the public elevator or the freight elevator? Yeah, we're going to go up to the roof because that's where the chimes are and the UCSD alumni people are here. All right, so uh, this is the keyboard that you use when you want to perform on these chimes. And there are two sides to these bells, the ones with the major overtones, the one with the minor overtones. And then there is a microphone uh, you know, on the back of this black sounding board and this Masro Carillon Company, which is in Escondido, they file it down in certain spots to create that overtone series that are needed for it to sound like an old world Carillon bell. Surprisingly, Iron Man really, really works. Now, the funny part is that all of this equipment, the, the clock, the keyboard, the chimes, they didn't have to be on the roof. They could have been in the basement. All that needed to be on the roof were the speakers yeah. pointing out, but someone just had an overly romantic notion of a clock tower and chimes and they're all up here. And I think it's cool that they're up here. Yeah. Uh, if it were anywhere else, people would say, get that out of my way, you know, right. so it's just as well. For that kind of instrument, anyone who plays a keyboard instrument can go up there. It's just, it is just a keyboard. But that's because it's a modern electronic carillon with a little keyboard. You know, a real carillon in the old world, it really is these big hanging bells, and you'd be hitting these sort of baseball bats with your fists and feet. But ours, the one that's manufactured in Escondido, is just go up there and it's just like playing on any, any piano-like keyboard instrument with those limitations. There's no such thing as a short note. There's no such thing as a soft note. Everything is a loud, long note. The first time I ever heard a carol on is, what was that? Those are the clock chimes, right? I was on some other campus and I was so moved by how beautiful it was and what a shock. And it was one of those mornings at 7 a.m. and there was snow on the ground and nobody was awake yet. That's kind of what I think of when I'm involved with that carol I'm playing is like, oh, someone's gonna be surprised by this. It's so great to surprise people beyond that warning song. And, uh, you know, I just remember how magical it was for me to be surprised by the, the chiming. And uh, that, that and that's why it's so much fun for me to be involved with that instrument.